There has been a Chinese oil painting picture circulating privately among people. The author and the exact time of creation remain unknown. What piques people's interest is the presence of a nude woman in Chairman Mao's bedroom. The question being, who is she? It is speculated that the artist is likely young, both the painting technique and the conceptualization are intriguing. The artist captured a moment from the daily life of the Chairman Mao Zedong. It portrays a scene where Chairman Mao, known for his late-night work habits, is in his bedroom with a young woman, with whom he appears to be intimately involved. Suddenly, Mao's wife comrade Jiang King unintentionally intrudes into the room. The young woman hurriedly grabs her clothes while Chairman Mao calmly picks up a book. Assuming the appearance of someone engrossed in reading and studying, successfully concealing the awkward and uneasy situation that Jiang King stumbled upon, moreover, the artist ad employing the traditional academic approach of symmetrical composition. By utilizing the lamp near Mao Zedong's bed, the artist created a backlit effect, enveloping the entire scene in a warm golden hue. The artist skillfully incorporated allegorical elements reminiscent of the techniques used by European painters from the 18th century, subtly embedding certain narrative aspects within the painting. For example, Jiang King's turned face indicates her discovery of another woman in the room, dressed in the same grey skirt she designed years ago, symbolizing a sense of divine love and spirituality with the red curtains. The silhouette of the grand rooftop of a temple outside the window implies the presence of the architectural splendor of Xingnanhai. The slightly illuminated sky represents the dawning of a new day while the reflection of Mao Zedong's profile on the window glass refers to the metallic relief featured on the cover of selected works of Mao Zedong. Who is this woman exactly? The artist has merely depicted her from behind without any explicit annotations, leaving viewers with an infinite realm of imagination. Chairman Mao had numerous girlfriends throughout his life. Let's skip the times during the Jinggangshan and Yan'an eras and focus on the post-liberation period, when special passes were required to enter Jingnanhai. During the 1960s, when Air Force Commander Liu Yalu was still alive, he even managed to snatch the task of dancing with Chairman Mao from the Air Force Arts Troupe. At that time, the Air Force Arts Troupe was located in Tongfu Alley in Dongqing District, and many young women could often be seen there. On the nights of the dance parties, several black red flag sedans with military license plates quietly entered. Dot several elegantly dressed actresses from the Air Force Arts Troupe would get into the cars, and no one knew where they were headed. At that time, only three kinds of people were eligible to write in the red flag sedans. Political bureau members, deputy prime ministers, and high-ranking generals. Among the well-known women, there were three individuals, Chen Human, Meng Jinyan, and Liu Xiaowen. At that time, People in Beijing's social circles all knew that the Air Force Arts Troop had special privileges, and it was all because of these three women. But how did these three women obtain such special treatment? Chairman Mao's girlfriend, Liu Xiaowen, rose during the Cultural Revolution and became the head of the Air Force Arts Troop's Revolutionary Committee. Although she was only a troop leader and rose through the ranks during the Cultural Revolution, the Air Force commander during that time, Wu Faxian, despite his high-ranking status, he often found Liu as the head and respectfully asked her to convey Chairman Mao's latest instructions from the previous night. We cannot be sure which one of them among the nude women is depicted in this painting, but the artistic technique and clever arrangement of the artwork serve as a reminder to preserve this piece of history in the world.